So basically, right here, it literally just says that you're gonna need 80, you know, spaces of gigs, which we have. We're gonna be putting it on our SSD, which they highly recommend, and just because, you know, we're gonna be doing it. 7-zip is to be used for the files, which we have. I don't care about reading why anyone else could read about why if they want. Making two different folders at the root one of your drivers. So at C, D, whichever driver you're gonna be using because you don't have to use C, but I'm gonna be using C. This basically means what we did here, right? We're gonna go back and we're gonna have here. We clicked C drive, then we have anomaly here, we have gamma here. This is what you're supposed to do with the two separate folders. Then it says you're gonna add your anomaly and gamma folders to the Windows Defender exclusion or whatever you have for it. For me, it was Kaspersky. You know, where I went into Kaspersky, I clicked the gearbox, and I went all the way to threats and occlusion and I hit manage exclusions and I added them by doing the finding the file here and then clicking it adding a name hitting all components and then hitting save and they're added to the exclusion now then it says 1.51 do not use an already installed anomaly you need a clean anomaly folder which basically means that if you haven't already installed it when you go into local drive the anomaly folder should be empty the gamma file should be empty then you're going to move to update 1.52 for anomaly so we're that's basically saying that right here we have the 1.52 and then we have the update to it. And it says we need a gamma client, which you can see we also have right here, RC3. And then it says we're gonna need the archive for the add-on, which is the downloads right here. And then we have the launcher as well, which is everything that you need to be prepared <laughs> to set up this mod pack. Then we move on to the installation. And this basically means we're gonna go into our anomaly folder. We're gonna grab the anomaly 1.5.1. We're gonna extract it here. And now that we have this downloaded and everything, we can, you know, put our original anomaly back because we might need it later. We're gonna grab the 1.5.1, you know, update. Whoops. And we're gonna grab it. We're gonna drop it in because that's what they say. They say don't extract it here, put it here because it could fuck shit up. I would have extracted it over there, but we're gonna be following it exactly to a T to exactly what gamma mod pack instructions say. Okay, and it looks like it finished, so we're gonna move it back since we already used it. And then what it says inside of the install instructions is we've done the first one, we've updated it. It says we have to launch it, and it says to make sure that we launch it here once and exit the game. So we open the folder with anomaly, we click launch and start. We're just gonna hit play. It's gonna open up. You could see a file was created that was added to this. And when we get inside of the game, at the bottom, you're gonna see 152, assuming you did it correctly. And then you're going to make sure that what you do is follow the next step, which it says extract the gamma RC3 into the gamma folder, which means we pull these back up and we back up. We go into the gamma folder. Grab the RC3, whoops, drag it over, and we extract it here. Okay, then we're gonna grab the RC3, we're gonna put it back because we're done with it. Then we're gonna make sure we grab the downloads folder because you need that, bring it over here, and we're gonna extract it in here as well. And then we grab the download and we put it back just for future use, right? And then it's gonna say, okay, well, we've done that. We've got the gamma RC3, we've got the gamma, uh, whatever. We're gonna open up Grox mod pack installer. We're gonna grab the launcher for 430. Go here, extract it inside Grox mod pack installer, and you're gonna see the new launcher, you know, just pop up. We're gonna move this one back to our folder here. And it says we have to get rid of the installer, not the launcher. So we get rid of the installer and delete it, right? Now we've completed that step. Now it says that you must be unblocked from mod DB to proceed. So to make sure you're unblocked, go to mod DB and just hit refresh on a page you already have open or click add-ons. And by doing that, you should see if you're blocked or not. If you can see things, it means you're not blocked. Now, what you do is you go into the launcher right here and you right click and you run it as admin. Then what you're gonna do here is hit first, install initialization. It's gonna do a boopity boopity and it's gonna pop up a little error message shortly right here that we're just gonna hit okay on. It's gonna open up this little folder you see here. You're gonna scroll all the way down Hit browse, you're gonna find the anomaly folder, which should be wherever you installed it. So I click this PC, hit local disk, and I found anomaly, right? Then I'm gonna hit select folder. Then this is just gonna tell you that you need the tutorial or not, just hit no. It's gonna open up the MO2. You're just gonna close it right now. So now that you've done that, comes the next arduous task. Just hit install. 
and then you wait for it to install all of the mods and the hope that during this process mod db doesn't decide to flag you as a bot and then you know bippity bounce you so see we are on hopefully it installs everything this means that by the time you're finished uh, you should have 377 mods for base gamma okay so now that we have the you know stalker gamma completely installed the guide itself is gonna say where are you hit play so we're going to do that we're gonna hit play it's gonna pop open mo2 but it's gonna give you this little you know error you could just do okay so as you can see uh, I made a kafuckle before you guys saw this in the video, but if I didn't say 376, it's supposed to be a 376, uh, not 377. That's how you know that you installed it correctly. Another way is to open all of what you see I'm doing right now. It's all these little categories and all of these categories. If you see anything that is grayed out, not like these check marks that aren't checked. See how it's like certain ones are checked and certain ones aren't. This just means they're enabled versus disabled, right? If you actually see how like the text right here that's black is gray, uh, that means that you installed something wrong. Most likely it's because because you were missing a file like I did before, which I was missing like an updated downloaded file. So make sure the anomaly files that you need and the gamma files that you need are actually up to date. Otherwise you're gonna run into some issues. You have to move it over to DirectX 11 and then hit run. That's what you have to do because you're gonna know if it's gonna crash if you enter the Yantar area by doing this and we're gonna let it load. Okay, and as you can see, the game is up and running. That means that you are good to go. For anybody who is not gonna be modding it past the base gamma experience, you are good to then remake your character, start a new game, and you know, feel free to enjoy the game. For anybody else who is going to be modding, I'm gonna show you what the steps you're gonna need to take after that are. Basically, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go up into MO2, this little, you know, ID card, click it, hit copy, and then name whatever you want the next preset or your personal preset to be. I'm gonna name it, hope I don't fuck up again and then i'm gonna hit okay and hit select so now any changes that i make to hope i don't fuck up again is not gonna apply to the original gamma you can cycle between them at any time so if you ever you know fuck something up terribly over and hope i don't fuck up again you can just switch back to gamma and then you could copy gamma and make a new profile again or just play on basic gamma and if you're going to add any mods it's a very simple you click up here this little box with the disc then you go to wherever your mods are and you're going to click on them right go and so these are all my mods that i'm gonna have installed into this and you're just gonna choose one let's see we're gonna choose usec we're gonna hit open and it's gonna allow you to name it i'm gonna name it usec voice because that's what this is and hit okay and there we go all done and dandy and then i just check it and it's all good to go